the reception, maths time. Now, today we're going to think about what the different coins look like, because we're gonna carry on our learning about money. And today we're gonna be digging for treasure like pirates with a parrot on our shoulder and a patch over our eye. We're going to be digging for treasure and our treasure is going to be coins. But we need to know what coins we find. So when we find the coins, we know what they are. So let's just have a think. What can you tell me about this coin? Think about its color. Think about what it's got on it. Think about its number. What color is it? What color is this coin? It's a coppery, bronzy color, isn't it? It's a coppery, bronzy color. And what shape is it? What shape is this coin? A circle, it's a circle. And can you see a number on it? What number does it have on it? A number two. It also has three feathers and a crown. What coin is this? We know, don't we, because we've done it before. What coin is this? Two pence, fantastic. Let's have a look at this one. What color is this coin? It's the same color, isn't it? It's a coppery, bronzy color. They are the same color. How are they different? This one's got a number two on it. What number has this one got on it? A number one. This one's got feathers on it. Does this one have feathers on it? No, this one has a different kind of crown, doesn't it? And it looks like it's got the tower fence on it, the tower gate. So I've got two copper coins. They're both what shape? They're both circles. This one though has got a number two and this one's got a number one. So my two pence has got a number two on it and my one penny has a number one on it. Are they the same size? No, which one's bigger? Two pence piece is bigger than the one penny. So that's how we can tell them apart even though they're the same colour. They have got some differences. Well done. Right. What colour is this one? Is it the same colour as my two pence piece? No, this one is silver. This one is silver. What colour does this one have on it? Uh, what colour, what number, sorry, does this one have on it? The number five. So it's a five pence piece. This one's also got a crown on it. So far, all our coins have got a crown on. There's the crown here. There's the crown here. And there's the crown here. But the rest of the pattern is different. This one looks like it's got a thistle on it. And it is five pence. What shape is our five pence piece? A circle, good job. So we know that these three coins are different. They're worth different amounts and they look different. Excellent. Right, let's have a look at this one. What color is it? Silver, good job. Does it have a crown on it like the other coins we've looked at? It does, doesn't it? On the lion's head, it's got a crown. What number does this one have on it? Number 10. And what shape is it? A circle. So the same as the five pence. But this one has a number five on it. This one has a number 10 on it. This one has a thistle on it. This one has a lion on it. Which is bigger? The 10 pence piece is bigger than the five pence piece. Fantastic. What I would like you to do today is hide your coins in a bowl of rice or pasta or sand if you've got sand, whatever you've got that's little. And then I want you to dig for your treasure. Dig for your coins, dig for your treasure. And I would like you at the end to add up how much money you have found. So pirates, you need to go digging for that buried treasure. Maybe if you wanted to, you could do a little pirate's treasure map with an X marks the spot of where the bowl of treasure is. So you could do a treasure map of your house and then wherever you put your treasure with your, where you're gonna dig for it, that's where you could do the X marks the spot. But at the end, I'd like you to add up how much money you have. Maybe you can challenge your brother or your sister or your grown-ups to see how much they can find and how much you can find. See who finds the most. Have fun, happy digging, and I hope you find lots of treasure. Bye, reception.